Today, a holiday travel frenzy. AAA says over 97 million people will be on the road between now and January 1st. Today alone, nearly 3 million Americans are expected to fly. Here is a live look now at FlightAware showing all the planes in the air tonight. Isn't that impressive? 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley has spent his okay. day with travelers taking planes, trains, and automobiles for Christmas. How is it tonight, Ed? Well, Ashley, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, but it's also beginning to look like we're going to set a new record when it comes to the number of people who are year-end holiday travelers. And yes, yeah, there's lines and congestion, but you know, the good thing is everyone is in a holiday mood. That's what happens, yeah. Katie, Bob, and four-month-old Ben Schuler are some of the 107 million people that AAA estimates are traveling for Christmas and New Year's. And since this was little Ben's first trip to see relatives in New York City, the Schulers decided to take Amtrak. I think it'll be nicer than flying. Hopefully not as cramped. We'll be able to get up, you know. <laughs> Many others did the same thing with a crowd of passengers getting all aboard at the Pew. People used to go to grandma's, but now it's easier for grandma to travel than the kids. Air travel is up this year and places like the Buffalo Niagara International Airport are very busy. So what's it like to travel for the holidays? It's chaos. It's absolute chaos, but it was only an hour flight, so it was manageable. The Armstrong family is home to visit relatives in Buffalo. And when you travel with young children, you need plenty of luggage for clothes and presents. Yeah, I don't know why they have all all these suitcases here for a few days. This is beyond me. But it is an adventure. Just ask three and a half year old Will Armstrong. That is so fast and cool. So fast and cool, yeah. I'm very excited. This is the first time we've had our three children and their families together. Since Christmas falls on a Monday, you can expect roadways to be extra busy as holiday travelers and weekend shoppers will be out. But I figured I'd venture out and it's just amazing how much traffic there is today. A lot of people are working, unemployment is low, and people are saying, you know, let's make some memories with the family, take a trip. The next few days could see some very wintry weather, so the AAA is reminding drivers to make sure your car is prepared. And most of all, just to pack your patience, because because things are expected to be busy. Because it is the holiday season. So how excited are you to be here? Really excited. <laughs> Yes, everyone's very excited to be coming home to their families. Now, if you are traveling by plane, the AAA recommends that you make sure you get to the airport early because there could be some long lines when you go through security. And also, don't wrap your presents and make sure you're prepared to take out your toiletries and electronics so TSA agents can check those things out. Live at the Buffalo Niagara International Airport, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Ed. New development.